knobs are all the same, sort of. There's a spindle that runs between the two doorknobs on either side of the door, and sometimes the doorknobs themselves get spiraled off the spindle, which leaves too much space, and so they rock back and forth a lot. Now, this little thing here is called the set screw, and the set screw um, pushes down against the spindle and effectively locks the handle in place um, so that it moves with the spindle. I'm going to loosen this off with my slot head screwdriver and t try tightening the handle. So let's, you usually don't want to back it all the way out. It, it's just, it's pressing down metal against metal. All you have to do is back it out a little way. Then I'm going to rotate this. Now I've just turned it a quarter of a turn and already it's tighter, but I think I can go a little bit further. Now it's really tight. Well, I spoke too soon. I'm going to try unscrewing it to see if it's if there's some problem. Sometimes the spindle is just kind of wrecked. Maybe you'd like to see what a spindle looks like. This one is a bit chewed up. You probably can't see it, but there are little metal filings falling out as I unscrewed the handle. It's not bad, though. So there it is. It's square with threads on it. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try threading this handle on and see if I can't keep get it on better so that it's nice and tight. Oh, also, as a matter of interest, see these little grooves? The set screw should be pushing into one of the flat surfaces of this spindle, not into the threads on the corners. Okay, so I'm going to reattach the handle. It's easy to get them threaded wrongly. There it goes. So I'm going to snug it right up against this, this is called the rose, this plate that sits on the door. There, that's good. So I'm going to do the set screw up right there. Remember the um, spindle was sitting with the flat side up, so I'm safe uh, screwing in my set screw now. Some set screws have, instead of a slot head, they might have um, a hexagonal uh, depression, an Allen, which you use an Allen key for. Allen keys are um, six-sided wrenches, basically, like you use on bicycle parts. So you, yours might have that, and sometimes they're really small and hard to find. Another kind of um, door handle is one which has a spring release, so you have to take a slot head screwdriver and um, reach into the little slot which trips the release, and then you can pull the door handle back off the spindle. However, that kind of door handle doesn't actually screw onto the spindle. It, it's uh, push mounted, so you have to, to tighten it, you have to just push it in on the spindle. It's kind of hard to explain until you're actually looking at your own door handle, but don't be afraid to, to try removing your uh, loose doorknob and see how it's doing. Now, this is a little bit tighter. I need to do the other side, and then we'll check to see if it's, um, if it's still working nicely with the latch. There. This is a lot tighter than it was, and the handle is, is not rocking in its cradle like it was before. If you take yours apart and find that it's really uh, chewed up, the spindles, threads are all wrecked, it's best to just take the whole darn thing out, take it to the hardware store and say, this is my lock set. That's what we call it, a lock set. Uh, even though it, this one doesn't happen to have um, need for a key, the easiest way to call it is just a lock set. I have one here that I was prepared to use to replace this one. Um, it's different again. This is the new kind, and of course, they don't even have a set screw, so you can't adjust the handle. So if you go looking and you have these kind, uh, this kind of 
lock set, you're going to be frustrated because you find that it doesn't even, ex you can't even mess with it. It's, there's just, there, there are no options. However, take apart your own and take it to the hardware store if it's just wrecked and they'll help you pick one that is the right size. To take it apart, you just unscrew the plate, pull off the handles by unscrewing the set screw, and then you have to take these um, screws out of the face plate too, and then the whole thing just comes apart, and you can just take it in in three pieces and say, this is what I've got, and they'll help you out. Ah, instant coffee, a miracle of the modern age. And you know, those little brown crystals can be used for so much more. You can actually mix them with wall patch compound so that you just keep adding them till you've achieved the desired shade of brown when you're patching woodwork. And that's not all you can do with instant coffee. How do I achieve these rich highlights in my tresses? Well, I'll tell you, I rinse my hair with instant coffee for shiny, healthy looking hair. And you know then, whenever I'm feeling a little tired, all I have to do is <laughs> sniff my hair and I'm instantly invigorated. You too can achieve the same results by rinsing with instant coffee. Well, until next time on A Repair to Remember, I'm Mag Ruffman. <laughs> oh.